I always hated the saying, those who can't do teach, because frankly, to a teacher, it's pretty insulting. Teaching is a very noble profession. It's really hard, it's intimidating. It can be something that's incredibly rewarding and incredibly scary to do at the same time. It requires you to truly know your craft because you have to tell somebody something in order to make them understand it. And it, it's not just a matter of telling. It's not just a matter of explaining and showing. It's inspiring and it's for, fostering in students something that makes them want to grow, makes them want to learn. Anyone can't do it. It's not that easy. As a former high school teacher, I often found my students asking me simple and thought-provoking questions that kind of blew me away. They always wanted to go deeper into it. It wasn't enough just to tell them a fact. I had to tell them why. How did something change the norm? Why are things the way they are? And what makes X, Y, and Z different? These questions forced me to delve deeper into my own knowledge so that I can actually help them with their young minds growing. So at this point, y'all are probably sitting here going, what the heck does this have to do with photography? To me, it's everything. Three years ago, I started this incredible new journey into this profession. And by started, I mean I picked up my first DSLR ever. And I had to figure out how to actually work the darn thing. I was pre-med science geek in school. Um, I have multiple degrees in educational administration. I'm a New York State certified high school principal. And one day, I fell in love with capturing a moment of my newborn son's life. And from that point, I was hooked and I wanted to do something crazy. I wanted to be that mom with a camera. I never studied photography in school. I had to learn it fresh. I had to research everything about technique. I had to study you know, prints and figure out how they were photographed. Um, I had to watch the greats and figure out how they approached their craft. And I think I practiced so much that I annoyed everyone around me. And then one day I figured, I don't know enough, I need to seek out teachers. So what I did is I went out and I searched for people to help me. And after a while, I realized that it wasn't enough. I needed to challenge myself. I needed to be the one who actually was teaching. Because as a teacher, I knew that that moment when I actually go and I help somebody is the moment when I know the most about what I do and don't know about my craft. So it helped me to become better. Now, before you get all crazy on me, I'm not saying to go on a world tour. I'm not saying to teach at Creative Live. I'm not saying to get on a huge stage in front of a lot of people at a convention and make a clone of yourself. I'm not saying to do any of that. All I'm saying is go out and find somebody who needs to learn something, who's starting out, and help them. Share your knowledge with them so that they can grow, and by them growing, you're gonna grow. If you go out and teach somebody about exposure, and you teach them about white balance, off-camera flash, custom functions, all of that, all you're doing is you're helping give them the foundations to succeed, and when you do that, you're actually growing your own business as well. Competition is not something to worry about. Teaching other photographers forces yourself to better understand your own techniques, and when you talk about somebody, and you sit there and you tell somebody what your shutter speed is, or what your aperture was, you're explaining why you spot meter on a cheek. If you explain how you put the lighting so that you actually get a nice Rembrandt pattern on their face, you're gonna teach them and give them something to work with far, far beyond anything you can do. When you don't do that, when you just stay stagnant and you don't share, you get complacent. And complacency is what kills creativity. And by the way, the slides are totally not in order, so I'm just gonna ditch that. Complacency kills the creative soul. And a lot of people freak out because they say, but if I go out and I teach somebody, I'm gonna lose clients. What if I teach somebody so well that they open up a studio next to me and they do really, really well because I spend so much time with them. Nobody's wanna, gonna wanna come to me. That's not true because when you teach, you build relationships. And by building relationships, what you're actually doing is you're creating allies. So if you take that newbie photographer that we all gripe about that charges $50 for two hours of photography, 200 digital ed edited files, and 20 gift prints, and you teach them how to run a good business and be a successful business person, you've just created an ally. You've just created a relationship with them so that referrals are going to come in and you guys are going to grow your businesses together. And if, if you start teaching somebody and you don't know an answer, if you're not that 
great, you've only been doing it for three years? Don't freak out. Because if you don't know an answer, problem solve it. Try to figure it out. And what you're going to realize is that when you teach somebody, you're going to grow together and you're going to be far, far better at your own craft.